This is about illuminating the collective consciousness. And that term to me is everything because that's where we're at now. It's all about bringing together the one. And we always hear about that in spiritual books now. Oh yeah, I'm the one baby. You know, it's like we can throw that term around all day long if we want. But at the end of the day, what the hell is the one? You know, it's like we call it God. We call it so many different things. But today I really wanted to bring all these awesome aspects of not only astrology, but what I call galactic astrology to understand that total deeper connection. So that's what we're here to do today. And if you guys know, that's how I start my horoscope, right? Illuminating the collective consciousness. That's why I do a horoscope that's not about every sun sign off for free, because I feel that all of us in this room are on the same earth. We're in the same universe. And when those planets are turning around, guess what? We all are going to have the moon in Scorpio today. You know what I mean? Like there's an aspect where we're all itching to go real deep. We're all wanting to freak ourselves out a little bit, you know? <laughs> I love Scorpio, you know? It's like such an intense and dynamic sign. But that's the aspect of collective consciousness. It's about bridging it all together. And I've always looked at the collective consciousness as synchronicity. We always hear about signs, right? Like, what's your sign? Well, it's more than just sign. Like, you know, when you come to New York and you see 1212 over there and you were talking about angels and there's an angel in the corner, you know, we look at all these things like these are signs. Well, that's what astrology literally is. It's like when the signs become so overwhelming, when you look at your chart, it's like, oh my God, you've got 12 things happening at the same time. <laughs> like that's astrology where it's like, it's God has talked. But when I feel in life you don't have those signs, it's almost like, uh-oh, I'm on the wrong track. Because I feel that the universe or ourselves, because let's give ourselves some power here, we have the power to know if we're on our life track or not. And that's what astrology does is, in my opinion, it gives us the exact knowledge of we're on track. Because this track of life it isn't meant to be so like perfect, right? You know, we have free will and it goes all over the place and it's like a wild ride down the river, you know? But at least we wanna know, oh yeah, we're going down the river. Even though there's gonna be crazy turns, we're going down. We don't wanna be going upstream. That's when it just, just, and we all know people, especially in this town, man, when you're walking down the street, it's like, get out of my way, fool. It's like, whoa, dude, I'm from California. We, we kinda walk forever, you know? It's like, jeez. You have noticed that there, I gotta pick my bead and I gotta stay right. If I go left, because I'm weird, I'm a channeler for a living, so I'm really sensitive. So I like to kind of go by walls. You know, I feel safer next to a wall. So I'll be walking against the walls going the wrong way and everybody's like, come on, dude. I'm like, shit. But that, that's life where there I am trying to control it going against the flow of the universe and I have to pay for it, you know? So even though I really want to go against that wall, I have to learn to surrender all the time and go, fuck it, I gotta go let the, all the New Yorkers go? Oh, shit. You know, and there's a part of me that feels vulnerable and sensitive to that because I'm a sensitive empath for a living. So when I'm in energy, it's like, holy shit. It becomes overwhelming. So the main thing that I want to talk about to, to open this is the only way to get here, though, is going down the rabbit hole. I don't know how much you guys know about Alice in Wonderland, but... Man, I love Alice. I'm kind of looking for Alice as a girlfriend, you know? <laughs> like, because she was so curious that she was over, oh, mother wants me to read this book, fuck that, and throws it out the window and kind of goes, what's this little rabbit running down this little hole for? I'm gonna go and, and search there. And I feel like for all of us, or to really aspect consciousness truly, there is that curiosity that you have to go down. And we live in a society and a world that doesn't like that rabbit hole much. They kind of like put weird energy or blocks around it. They put big X's like, no, 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 you don't want to go there. Trust us, you don't want to go there because it, it keeps you in containment in this system. And we're going to talk about the system today. No, this isn't a crazy conspiracy thing today. I'm just an astrologer giving the astrology, but that aspect of Alice going down the, the, the rabbit hole is our life where we must go. That's where the magic is. I mean, that came with my story. The only way I got here was I definitely went down the rabbit hole, you know? And I feel like in our lives, that rabbit hole is what life should be. I mean, if you just look up at the cosmos and on our way here, David and I stopped almost into Denver. We were like 10,000 feet up. And boy, I saw the Milky Way again. But uh, when you look up there, there is no such thing as like patterned and controlled. It's just, <laughs> it's just all over the place. 
And when you go into Alice in Wonderland, it's all over the place. There's people looking this color and that color and everything is so jumbled around. And we live in a world in our identification of self where it has to be a certain way. So when we start to go into this information, it's not the way we've been taught. It's not what we see in society. It's not what the humanity has defined itself as. Really, this is all just about identity crisis, really, we're going to talk about today, that we're in a world that is going through an identity crisis while it opens up to the theories or the truth that we're in a world that is about shifting into the weirdness, literally. So we're going to talk about that weirdness today and what that weirdness is because it's weird. But that's because if you look at society or you look at humanity, it's weird because we've identified with everything so the way it is. And so if you've ever done a drug or hallucinogen, that's not what happens anymore. You lose sense of that and everything changes. And it's because your identity cracks. Your ego cracks, you know. So we're going to talk about the ego cracking today. We're going to talk about all that. But, you know, in this picture, and I'm sure you can't see it, but I mean, I'm sure if you remember Alice in Wonderland, I mean, it was so weird, you know. There was, like, rabbits walking around with big clocks and being like, I'm late, I'm late, like, running around. And there's, like, this aspect of, like, wow, it's actually exciting, fun, and cool. Like, because I think that's where life's supposed to be, is that magical doorway, that magical life. And astrology, to me, and the understanding of astrology to me is that magical doorway. But what is astrology? That's a hard subject. But in my opinion, I hate going on a date with a girl and telling her I'm an astrologer. Because, you know, the first thing you're going to think, I'm like Susan Miller or something, you know? Like, like, <laughs> like, it's like, no, 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 not like, sorry, like, that is not who I am. I just don't do horoscopes and I just don't do, like, readings. Like, that's not what astrology is. Because to me, I feel astrology is more synchronicity. It's about understanding how to put all the pieces together and have them all combined as one. And honestly, I just really want to take the term astrology and throw it away forever because I think it's been really identified incorrectly. So today we're going to really go through the correct identification of astrology, the deeper meaning of astrology, and what I feel is the best thing that could ever happen in our life is knowing the truth. And, and astrology is about knowing that truth. Astrology is about knowing, of course, thyself. So the tool in astrology is always about just awareness, the awareness of knowing the path, knowing where the river is going. And I think that's so important as the magical doorways of life are about knowing. Even though it could be that curiosity, it always brings you. Because at the end of Alice in Wonderland, she knows it all finally. She figures it out. She breaks herself free of so much about trying to get home, 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 and all this crazy stuff. But really, at the end of the day, you know, she finds her own power in many ways. And I think through that magical journey and through something like astrology, you can find your power. Because what I use astrology for in my personal life has been to make this dream come true. And trust me, it has. And it continues. And even though it's as an astrologer, the truth is, is astrology is an astrologer is one little aspect of what I do. There's so much more, the performer of me, or whatever, all the, all the things you find in yourself, because we're a mixed bag of just amazing and beautiful things. We're not just one thing, or one person, or one identification of self. And astrology is the only place that I feel really has you understand why you chose all this stuff. Because nobody had a big AK-47 in your head and was like, get in that damn body, son! You know, it's like, <laughs> no, you were like, engaged, like, I am going in here. I'm coming at this time. I'm going to be born in this city. These are the crazy parents I'm going to have, or lack thereof, or whatever the situation is. There's a need for our core alignment to be physically manifested for some reason. And so we're going to talk about that physical manifestation today, because that's what this reality is. But let's start with astrology. And who here has seen The Notebook? All the ladies in here. Yeah. <laughs> Some of the dudes had to sit through it, which actually, that, it's a good movie, I'll be honest. You know, it's like, for the dudes, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, it's pretty good. But the whole funny thing about the notebook is that he has to retell his wife the story in order to get to her knowing. And I feel like that's what astrology is. We all have to retell ourselves the story in order to get back to, oh shit, yeah, fuck. Because we don't come in here knowing. And the reason why we don't come in here knowing is actually because of the way 
humanity has been built. But there was a system in place that allowed you to know right away at your birth. I mean, I mean, you go to India, they are like right on yeah. getting you to know right away. Like, oh my God, your kids got moved and they do dances and they do all this shit. And it's like, wow, okay. Or they go, oh crap, you know, your kid's gonna have this, but prepare. But it's like, okay, like, uh, let's remember, let's, or let's try to get the story right. And I feel that for us, we all have to get that story. The story is there. It's embedded within all of us. Of course, the exterior of that is astrology or all these other aspects we're gonna talk today. But really, it's about getting to that core of remembering your story.